Chronic overlapping pain conditions refer to a cluster of chronic pain conditions that uh, frequently co-occur. Um, there are 10 that are um, defined, um, inc including endometriosis, uh, fibromyalgia, uh, painful bladder syndrome, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic low back pain, headaches, both migraine as well as tension headaches, vulvodynia, um, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, I might have forgotten a few, but in general, they're uh, uh, chronic pain conditions that can affect either a local part of the body or widespread pain like uh, fibromyalgia. Um, and we think that there are common underlying biological mechanisms that um, lead to any one of these conditions. Once a patient has one of these conditions, uh, it becomes more common that they can develop another condition. Um, and over the course of the lifetime, these patients can uh, often suffer from multiple conditions at one time or a series of conditions over time where one condition gets better and another one comes on. We know that they occur more commonly in women than they do in men, sometimes up to two times more commonly in women than men. And some of the conditions you know, within this um, group of overlapping conditions only affect women, things like endometriosis and uh, vulvodynia. Um, we, there are many theories as to what uh, causes them, but one of the most common themes that we see uh, in patients with these conditions is that there is um, an alteration in the brain, uh, the central nervous system, and the way that the brain processes pain information, such that these patients uh, sort of become hypersensitive to both pain as well as other sensory stimuli. So uh, these patients tend to be more sensitive um, to things like light and sound, as well as um, painful stimuli. They also tend to suffer from a lot of fatigue, uh, poor sleep, um, and these patients are more likely to suffer from uh, mood disorders like anxiety and uh, depression and have increased distress. Uh, so um, what exactly leads to them, we don't entirely know, and there's probably multiple pathways in which a patient can develop a chronic overlapping pain condition. We know that there are genetic vulnerabilities, we know that uh, trauma can increase the likelihood of developing it, whether it's early life trauma or repetitive trauma through the life. We know that um, these pain uh, symptoms and other symptoms are often triggered by stressors in, in the life. And as mentioned before, once you develop one, um, you're more likely to develop others over time.